devices we approached your camp. Do you use them? The Comanche chief on my right here gave them to us as gifts. The Comanches are like brothers to us. We share everything. The warriors from all the other tribes are your brothers too. No, not always. As I was listening to you speak, I thought how wonderful it would be if we all burned with the same intensity. Yes, that would be wonderful, but Just it doesn't like all happen fire. at once. First you have to get close to one tribe, then another, and before you know it, you're one big family. Very well, son. You have convinced us Pocahontas from now on we'll try to meet more often. Do you all know how to ride horseback? It was difficult to begin with, but now we have some talented riders. Mm -hmm. you know, talented riders, that intrigues me. Anyone want to race with me? You'll probably win. Our horsemen are good, but they're only beginners. I'm not worried about winning. I'm more interested in practicing. You want to race with us? <laughs> he looks scared out of his wits. Huh? Too bad. It would just be a friendly race. It would give us something fun to organize and prepare for. Yes, and... Would you like to race with me, Mark? Uh, no, thanks. I don't really feel like it. <laughs> Your young brave has changed his mind. He thinks our Cheyenne horseman is too good for him. Hmm. Uh... That quiet young Cheyenne warrior over there? What is his name? Sound of Silence. He's a great warrior. He communicates with his hands. He can't talk. Once upon a time, he used to talk like us. He fell ill or something? No, something happened to him. One day he went out hunting. A week later he still hadn't returned. The Cheyenne from his village searched everywhere in vain. Cheyenne asked him what had happened, where he had been, and how he had survived in the snow. Later, we found out he had gotten lost, and as he was trying to find the way home, he saw five horsemen galloping towards him. He realized they were pale faces, and since he was afraid of being taken prisoner, he shot at them. Then he tried to attack them. Unfortunately, he was not a good enough horseman. Fortunately, he knew the terrain better than his pursuers and found a cave in which to hide. Maybe he lost his speech because of herbs he ate to survive. No one will ever know. I understand. He's the first Cheyenne to have ever ridden a horse. Yes, and he's a very brave warrior who could one day become chief. Mark, stop staring at him like that. It's rude and unworthy of you. <laughs> Pocahontas, if you keep talking like that, I'll get indigestion. <laughs> well, as for me, I like to eat rabbit. Yeah, it's tasty. And what's more, that's what makes me such a fast runner. I once heard a story about the rabbit dance. You know it, Mark? Rabbit dance? What's that? I guess you don't know it. I'll tell it to you since you like rabbits so much. Then what? Are you gonna make me do the dance later on? What are you getting worried about? All I'm gonna do is tell the story. Does 
this sound familiar to anyone? Nope, never heard of it. Huh? A long, long time ago, a group of hunters were in the forest tracking their prey. Trap that huge rabbit, all the little rabbits will follow it, and we'll have food for the entire winter. And rabbit fur, too! Wait, it will scare them off! went back to the village and consulted their oracle woman to find out what the vision was about. Come closer. You must dance like the rabbits if you want me to understand. <laughs> Stop! Are you sure that's how it works? Absolutely oh, yes. yes! We're part of it! They dance for you to show you they are your friends, and you dance for them for the same reason! <laughs> the hunters learned their lesson. Nature allows us to survive, but we must always say thank you. Hmm. Mock, you must thank the rabbit you're eating. Rabbits nourish you and allow you to live. <laughs> well, then I invite all of you to participate in the rabbit dance. All right, then, let's go. <laughs> Pocahontas, I don't want you to be disappointed, but at the gathering, everyone only appeared to be happy and united. Day-to-day -day life, such togetherness is as illusory as a shooting star. The Cheyenne are jealous of the Crow. They auto-fight constantly with the Winnebago, and so on. 
It is a terrible pity, but I have a feeling your speech has fallen on deaf ears. What must I do to make them understand? I don't know. Perhaps something unexpected and earth-shattering needs to happen before they can truly understand that coming together can make us stronger. But in the meantime, the tribes must make a point of meeting more often to prepare the ground for fruitful peace treaties. There is no doubt that you are right, but it is not easy to bring them together. Each tribe is isolated from the rest. The only reason they are here right now is to see you. I am flattered by their attention, Great Chief. <laughs> Nothing like taking the early morning air. I agree. That Seneca warrior is a good horseman. You're right, he looks like he's an extension of his horse. Hey, Mock! You wanna come race with us? All right, but get ready to lose. I find it hard to believe they've suddenly become good riders. Oh. It's sound of silence. He wants to race too. Why not? He was the first warrior in our tribe to ride horseback. He was? What are you doing, Mock? Oh. Organizing a horse race? Looks like you found plenty of competition to make it exciting. I've never been able to turn down a good challenge. Well, then why don't you organize a really big race to include horsemen from every tribe? That sounds like a fine idea. A race between all the tribes? And to think I was going to take a nice relaxing bath, and now I'm being roped into this. <laughs> Poor Mock, just think. You've been chosen to set an example of solidarity and brotherhood for the others. My friends, prepare for an unforgettable race in honor of friendship and brotherhood. See you later. Great Sioux Chief, will you be racing too? Oh no, I'm not a good enough horseman. It doesn't matter. Anyone can participate. It's going to be a manifestation of the peaceful alliance between all the tribes. Pocahontas, why did you send for Appaloosa? Because I want to race. It's important that I participate in the race, too. No, you should mix with all those horsemen. Your mission demands that you keep an element of dignity. You are above all this commotion. Is that so? You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Plus, you should race, too, Hoppy Ho. We have to act on what we've said about solidarity among tribes. What about Mute Lick, Yell, and Nui? Are they just watching? Yes. Huh? She's racing? Let's go to the starting line. Pocahontas, I'll be cheering for you. I am certain you're going to win. Are you ready? Yes, and you know why I'm participating. The race is about to begin. You must reach that tree down there, the one on its own at the end of the prairie. Go around it and come back here. Everything clear? It looks tough, Chief. Maybe you should quit while you can. Certainly not. I want everyone to know I am doing this to further the cause of unity among us. On your marks, get set, go!
watching you, Chief. I'll be all right, Pocahontas. What a great race. The great Sioux Chief is doing all he can. Very courageous. I agree, and Pocahontas is like no girl I ever saw. Pocahontas, by a nose. start taking riding lessons. I think I should do the same. Don't tell me we agree on something for once. Reconcile your differences. Your animosities only favor our invader, the Pale Faces. It is time to come together. Well done, Sound of Silence. You're the best horseman of us all. Congratulations. Huh? Yes, now we're like <laughs> brothers. heard a bison is headed toward the territory occupied by the Pale Faces. What did you say? Say that again? The herd is going in that direction. Chief, stop! Don't go there! Listen to me, Great Chief! Let me get by. Out of the way. We need those bison for our survival. Do you really believe you can single-handedly change the herd's direction? Why not? I've done it before. Why don't you ask the other horsemen to go with you? This is the perfect occasion for the tribes to join forces. You're right, Pocahontas. Listen! All the horsemen from all the tribes must join forces. Follow me.
after the horses and the pooling of our efforts. Yes. Pocahontas was right. It was too much work for one My tribe. My tribe should join forces with yours. I agree with both of you. Strength is in numbers. We all agree. Just as the great spirit